What am I going to do for another Christmas present? I need quick and cheap. All right. One of the reasons why I like using the decorative towel apron is because it's already hemmed all the way around. So I really don't have to do any stitching there. When I'm buying my towel, I have to check to make sure that there's no printing that's going to be upside down when you open it up. So I get one that has just kind of an overall pattern or plain. I also buy double bias tape. I don't get the single because with the double, it will encase right over the edge and I don't have to press anything. I like the extra wide, but you can get any of the three different widths. I don't have to make a facing, but if I want it to hang really well, I just turn about two inches over at the top of the apron, pin it, and then I stitch it to make a facing. And since I'm doing kind of a decorative top stitching, I do want to take my time and that go lickety split. Now, to make it a little nicer, I'm going to just top stitch this top edge here. I'm just doing about a quarter of an inch from the edge. Now, doing this gives us a little more firmness at the top of the apron. It's not going to fold down, flop down as easily as if I used an edge without the facing. It's just real flopsy. So that facing will make it more stable. Next, we're going to fold the towel long sides together evenly with the facing at the top. You can print off the pattern for the bib on my website at expresshim.com forward slash apron dot html and trim off the top and the sides of the margin. The fold side of the pattern must go on the fold side of the fabric. Otherwise, when you cut it, you'll end up with a great big V in the middle instead of a bib. If your fabric is bigger than the pattern, just let it hang out over the right edge and cut straight out from there. Pin the pattern in place. Then cut only where it's the curved part of the bib. And there we go. Now when we open it, you can see that the bib is right in the middle and it is symmetrical. Both sides are the same. Next comes the bias tape. Don't be tempted to cut the bias tape at any point in time until we're all done because it's going to be one continuous flow of bias tape all the way around. We're going to measure 30 inches for the tie. If we make it too long, we run out of bias tape. Too short, it's not going to tie very well. Then I'm going to match right where that 30 inches is to the bottom left-hand side of the bib and pin it in place. For the next strap, I check to make sure that the bias tape is open toward the neck and not twisted at all. I measure 20 inches, then attach it to the other side and pin the bias tape in place. We want it kind of close to the edge. And we're going to keep that stitch nice and even. Check my work. Okay. Now, as we approach this, I want to hold the towel down so that it will catch all three layers. Now we're going to finish this out. To finish, I want to stitch across the ends of both of the ties. Our apron is done, ready to wear or ready to give. This is Lena Shea, an Iowa mom. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, go to youtube.com slash an Iowa mom videos. Then click on the video tab for a whole list.